Hi guys. Karibuni sana katika hii quick video ya siku ya leo. Mimi nataka tu kuuliza swali. Ni mimi sijasikia vizuri katika hii video ambayo imepremia leo ya Frank na bibi zake pamoja na director Samaritan ama ni vipi kunaendelea vipi? Honestly, how comes that Frank is still living with Valerie? Why? Huyu mzungu ni maisha hapendi yake. Anataka kwenda kwa septic tank ama anataka kufa arudi akiwa ndani ya 6x4 South Africa ama what really is not happening here? Because of, of course what is happening is concerning, seriously concerning. Uh, maybe I, I definitely I know Director Samaritan is a man of his own self and uh, he runs Eastern TV and of course he doesn't listen to anybody. But I think sometimes it's critical. Ni necessary uskie what other people are saying because sisi binadamu we don't live in isolation. Sisi binadamu sio kama wanyama. You have to listen to people, you have to hear what people are saying, you have to hata ndani ya hii live ndio unaona we have husband and wives, you know, families and all that. Lazima we engage with people. Hii live ni lazima you so, socialize with watu because mwanadamu ameumbwa akiwa social being. So hata kama usikilizi vitu mingi but every often check a few things uangalie uone namna gani honestly i know a lot of people has commented and uh, kwa easy eastern tv and definitely there's no way mtu kama samaritan anaweza kusema it haangaliagi ama hajuagi ya kwamba watu vile wanasema kuna serious concern about life ya frank i cannot believe it mpaka sasa hizi bado wako kwa val after what has happened? Why is this man, why is this mzungu still living at Valerie's house? When he happened in life, yake man inamna gani? What is going on? Honestly, sisi sa tume shaanza kumpenda Frank, not because of, you know, what he has, but because of who he is. He's just a good guy, a genuine guy, wanted to be a very good husband, a father. Mbaka ata saizi ya nandelea tu kuwa na, Mambo ambaye hata hayaeleweki eti hata kama watoto sio wake bado wataendelea kukuwa baba yao and all this is actually a very good guy na sasa sisi tunaogopa life yake iko hatarini because hapa tunaongea about two ladies who seriously want whatever they can get from this guy hata kama ni wamchune ngozi wauze watafanya these ladies will do anything so wacha tuangalie kuhusu huyu Valerie Eh hey, huyu dem sio mchezo. Huyu dem sasa amekuja hapa ameanza kulete fujo na ghasia. Of course revelation imesemekana kwamba wameweza kufika pamoja yeye na Frank kwa sababu bado of course Frank anaishi pamoja na yeye which is a concerning. But sasa huyu dem definitely from what we can see here there is no much interaction kule kwa nyumba. Hakuna communication much and all she's here for she's here for the documents. Anataka documents ikuwe handed over from Julie to her ili yeye na bwana wake wakue ndio wako sasa na hizo documents na ziko in their own hands. Eh, 
it is worrying, it is concerning actually what Valerie is planning and what is about to hatch from her system. Ni mambo mabaya. Uyu mwanamuki amekua na range, ameshikuwa na makasiriko, amekasirika akakata, akaongea. Wakati kwanza amesikia Frank, amesema eti amefanya DNA. Na amefanya DNA on both watoto wote Leslie na Russell. Ni kama wazimu ilimpanda. Alishikuwa na makasiriko, sura hake ikabadilika, uso ikaanza kuwa clenched, bode ikakuwa tensed. I mean, the whole... Valari just changed. Ikawa sasa ameshikwa na makasiriko hata kuna hataki kuongea, hataki kuongeleshwa na mtu, hataki kusikia anything. Yeye alibaki tu akikasirika akaanza kuuliza, "Kwa nini DNA ilifanywa bila yeye kuambiwa?" Akaanza kulamenta akisema, "Mimi sijawahi cheat na wewe. Mimi nime nimekuwa there for you wakati ukikufa kwa hospitali." Like as if. Kwa hivyo naonekana huu demo alikuwa anaongojea Frank akufe huko. Mimi ulikuwa wakati uki karibu kufa huko kwa hospitali I was there nimeenda nikikopa pesa nikakuto kulipia bill nini all these things alafu nakuja kufanya mambo behind my back so she continued unajua kama angekuja hapo angebue mimi nimefanya Russell DNA eh, na sijafanya Leslie ninge expect your reaction but vile ameambiwa mimi nimefanya hii DNA kwa watoto wote both Leslie na Russell lakini amebaki akifoka amebaki ameshikwa na makasiriko mabaya which begs the question na hata Julie the co-wife amemuuliza mbona wewe unashikwa na haya makasiriko yote of course Frank hakufanya vizuri angetujulisha but Frank ako na reasons zake Frank amesema if i would have told you i'm doing trying to do this dna atatufanya dna kama ni adamu you guys would have sabotaged it wange sabotage hiyo dna ama wangekataa so ama wangekuwa very protective kuhakikisha kwamba hizo dna zingefanyika kwa sababu of course wako na hidden agendas. So that is why Frank had to go solo afanye hiyo kitu uh, akiwa peke yao. So of course but naonekana Julie of course anajua ya kwamba Leslie sio wa wa Frank and that's why she's not even bothered or worried. Lakini mama Raso ameshikwa na makasiriko mabaya. Eh, therefore kuna wasiwasi hapo sasa ni kama maybe anaona already siko kwa property raso hako kwa will sasa baba yake ameenda tena akachukua nywele kwa kombi yake akaenda kufanya DNA of course ukweli itapatikana ya kwamba huyo mtoto si wa Frank so nafikiri hapo ndipo makasiriko yako because honestly ukiangalia vile huyo mwanamke ali react hapo ali react vibaya akawa ameongea a lot of thing which then sends worries and concerns to Mimi Eh, atafanyia nini Frank ametoka hapo kwa sabari tena hata hajaongea na akatoka na akaenda atajisema bye atajisema nini na yeye amekuja hapo na wanawake i presume yeye yeah, ali drive so yeye yeah, na Frank wali drive hapo sasa kwa sababu ametoka na hatujui kama ametoka na ameenda na ameacha Frank hapo is she going to wait for Frank to go back home or what plans is she going to go and hatch huko nyumbani those are worries and that is why we are asking what is Frank still doing at Valerie's house. Yes, unajua hiyo nyumba ni yao na Valerie. But of course, what has transpired of the last couple of days or weeks should have been enough signs to know ya kwamba maisha ya Frank ya kwatalini akiwa na huyu Val. And therefore, he should have moved out. Honestly, mi nisema hata kama ni kumchangia, tumchangie. Akodeshe a room somewhere. Hala is katika his own B&B zile ambazo zimandiko majina ya Julie. Julie alimfukuza. Because wakati walikosana na Julie alienda kakaa kwa one of the airbnbs i think julie alikuja kampatia 724 hours atoke huko and i think that is what happened of course walipokosana na julie then he ended up at vals wala kajifanya malaika mzuri all that akajaribu kumdanganya frank but of course lately we've got tumekuja kugundua kwamba wala ni nyoka ambaye inaongoja ku bite frank very quickly eh uh, plani zake ni chafu ni mbaya na sasa i think Valerie anaogopa what may happen kama secret ikitokea ya kwamba maybe huyo uh, Russell sio mtoto wa Frank. Uh, so this is quite concerning about maisha of Frank and to be honest I'm surprised that Samaritan has not actually thought about this and Samaritan has actually not uh, kumuliza hata Frank because one of the things angemuliza hata Frank hapo ni how safe are you ukiwa huko kwa Val now that 
tunajua kuna mambo mikutano ambayo imekutikana wakijaribu kuhongana wamekuwa hata hey guys no this is concerning anyway about julie bado ameshikilia document of course alipatiwa na bwana lusaka ambaye kila mtu at this point anadhania kwamba yeye ndio baba watoto wake na bado they are item she doesn't seem to be bothered that much about atahim kutano hata wakati amesikia dna of course ilifanywa through kuchukua hair samples from the combs of leslie she was she just lamented kidogo but this did not bother her hata what actually was surprising is alibaki akifokea co wife valari about her worries and anxieties and concern of why raswa alifanywa dna so yeah, yeah definitely i think she already knows and she she knows that frank is not the father of that child lakini in kind of anajikomfort kwa sababu you know leslie bado ako kwa will alafu sasa yeye ndio ako na document zote na hii ndio my worry and my concern about life ya frank kwa sababu saa hizi kama saa hizi frank akianguka of course julie will have most of everything hapo kama legal wife and i think ndio unaona valerie anabaki akifura na kununa kwa sababu anajua that is the truth So uyu Judy Julie definitely hata uh, yeye amesema amechoka and uh, haelewi ni kwa nini alikuwa ameitwa kwa hiyo mkutano na amesema definitely she is not ready to give these documents wakati akiondoka hapo kwa hiyo mkutano and uh, Frank of course sasa amesema itabidi atumie leo wanjiko through the court system to demand and to get his documents back the properties because definitely anaona Julie is just all about kumaliza This is how the story is watu wangu and uh, it's quite sad kuona ya kwamba honestly frank is still living at vals kwa sababu saa hizi imagine how that nyumbani itakuwa and from how that meeting went there you can definitely tell that kule kwa nyumba hakuna relationship iko hapo ukijaribu kuangalia hata vile anaongea Kiswahili hata huko nyumbani it looks like it's the same thing these people do not look like as if they relate much because their body language and the way they are communicating they can tell you they have no relationship huko kwa nyumba wanakaa tu na zombie ni kama zombies huko kwa nyumba it's not like husband and wife or a family like what uh, Valerie was trying to lie and picture out that they are having a good family hakuna kitu kama hiyo because it is not showcasing here Anyway, uh, my co- worry and concern is Frank anakula huko, anakunywa huko, analala huko. Anything can happen. To be honest, if I was a uh, Samaritan, ningemwadvise huyu Frank atoke kwa huyo Val. But it looks like our lamentation is going through deaf ears and huyu mzungu bado maisha yake mimi ningesema iko hatarini. Kwa wale watu ambaye mnamjua sama ama mnajua vile mnaweza kumsaidia huyu Frank msaidieni because this is not going to end up very well i can guarantee you valerie right now is angry we mwanamke ni angry and she will do anything na kwa sababu sababu saa hizi yeye anaonekana ni kama yeye ndiye lose in every area she is going to fight back and probably the way she will fight back is not unasikia bado anaongea kuhusu vile alikopa 172000 madawa za pesa za kulipa madawa za hospitali she is counting every penny anaongea kuhusu all the things bado anaongea kuhusu yalidanganywa alikuwa cheated all this akona pain na anger ndani yake ambaye ina boil uko ndani is just about to erupt na iki erupt haita erupt vizuri watu wangu tutasikia stories zingine ambazo hapo wa Kenya itakuwa kwa news this is what has happened to a mzungu from south africa and i dread that day so mimi ningeomba tu kama kuna mtu anaweza kusikia hii message yangu wafanye kitu let action be done now otherwise after this video has premiered i don't know what will happen of course tunaelewa ukiona video ina premiere hapa kwa eastern tv ilishajukuliwa zamani na hiyo meeting ilisha happen zamani probably a couple of days or so eh, zingine even after a week so definitely ni mambo ambayo imekuwa iki happen and i pray that huyu jamaa anaendelea vizuri sunas uh, akifika huko kwa nyumba things may change very well Anyway watu wangu ni hayo tu. Uh, I hope fr- maisha ya Frank itaendelea kuwa salama. It is sad kusikia watu wao bado hawajafika because at least kama mtu kama mama yake ama brother yake angekuwa amefika, angekuwa anakaa kwa hoteli. Maybe Frank would have been there also with them. Wakae hata kama ni kwa hoteli for some time. So that at least Frank akuwe ako free na ako safe. Kwa Valerie, he is not safe at all. 
ni kama vile hayuko safe kwa Julie lakini at least unajua wala anajifanya ni mwanamke mzuri but she is bad than than Julie to be honest I, I would prefer Julie because Julie is open uh, up front wala anajifanya mzuri but yeye ni poisonous ni hayo tu watu wangu uh, please tieni comment yenyu mseme what you think about these issues and uh, results that DNA mnaona zitaleta issues gani apart from that tafadhali msisahau ku subscribe uh, we want to thank you because we are looking forward to 20000 strong safeguarding family duniani and definitely i will see you very soon in my next video actually my next video would just be about julie and val and what they are planning tuonane hapo baadaye Thank you.